Hey guys, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm walking like this, right? Well, as the saying goes, when you are given lemons, you make lemonade out of them. Huh? Yeah, that's the basic summary of this little caption. Uh, yesterday, I had everything well planned out. I was at work, I was brainstorming as usual, and the idea was for me was like oh it's such very nice weather out there and the snow is almost melting off you know guys I love snow the snow is almost melting off and yeah temperatures are warming up it's just like it's it was like plus three yesterday evening and today it's very, very sunny as you can see and um, I know in maybe a couple of weeks and uh, max uh, everything's gonna like all the snow is gonna disappear. So my idea was to make a nice vlog about it before it went because it will only come back maybe in November. And um, yeah, so I had planned everything like I wanted to just go out there in nature, capture it, and just share it with you guys, like so that you know or you see why I love this place. And guess what? Well. The other story behind everything is that I have been for the past month struggling to lose weight because I feel I should get a little bit more fit. Um, I know that yeah, most people say, well, if you get when you get older, you tend to gain some weight. I know, but um, I just want to remain fit because I think it's the best way to go. You know. Uh, uh, psychologically wise and everything wise like it keeps you it keeps you alert when you're fit and you're confident you know it gives you some level of confidence and yeah and apart from that just to you know to know that my heart is well cared for because when you work out and stuff you, 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 your, your, inner uh, your inner mechanism works better so taking upon myself to go to the gym like almost every day i'm i'm a total fan of total training i've been running all all the time like each time i go maybe i run like 30 minutes interval running uh of maybe um i think i do like five six kilometers in 30 minutes which is okay, you know, I mean, there are fast runners that maybe like do more, but I think that is kind of like, okay. And yeah, I've been doing that. And yesterday when I left work, I went to the gym, I did my normal routine. And just when I was about to hit the 30 minutes, I started feeling a pain in my knee. And I was like, okay, I was running pretty fast so I was like okay let me drop down the speed so I did drop down the speed for a couple of minutes and I'm like okay let me stretch a little bit on the running meal I kind of stretched a little bit I thought maybe that was gonna help this the situation or maybe it was just some, some kind of spontaneous pain that was gonna go away and yeah and then I you know I stepped up the speed again and I started going at a really fast speed and I just realized that I couldn't go. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't keep that speed. So I decided to, you know, start walking. And I came down to six. Um, but I realized that still at six I could feel some pain. And I'm like, okay, now this is definitely not okay. I have to stop. So I really came back home, really pissed out because I really wanted to. I actually set the goal of running maybe a to run an hour and I really need to go down in weight you know go near weight so it is uh, as it is said here in Sweden yes and um, yeah that's what happened so I came home I thought it was gonna go that it was gonna be a passing something and yeah here I still stand with the knee and so I mean I want to try and go into vlogging and you know I've got some cool ideas up you know in the roof in my hair and I thought I was gonna like kickstart today like okay Angie go you know but this is what happens you know sometimes we plan stuff we really really plan stuff but 
we can't do what we can't do, you know, nature, life puts, you know, sets the pace and we just have to follow. So since I couldn't be out there, I decided I'm going to give you the inside. Huh? I hope it served the purpose also. And, but I, I hope that uh, as I get better, I'll be able to go out there and do those things that I wanted to do and share what I wanted to share and, you know, just embark on this journey and and just go and, and, and let's see where it takes us to, right? It's, it's something between you and I. <laughs> yeah, it's you and me. So, yeah. And, yeah, so right now what I have to do is I have to go to the Vault Central, that is the health center that is here in, um, that's here, just close by where I live in Umedalen. And yeah, I have to go and see and, and, and hear what the, the doctors say because it doesn't, my knee isn't really swollen, but I just feel like in here, it, it really hurts. But yeah, you see the way I go. And so I'll just have to go there and get them check my knee to let me know what is happening and i will keep you guys posted and i hope to come up with very very interesting topics that you guys will enjoy and if you have something that you want me to talk about or to show from umio from northern sweden or from lapland just let me know be my guest we are going to you know like work it out together okay and yeah, at all, I, I, I thought also that I should use my vlogs to encourage um, young girls. I wish to be like the elder sister, like the big sister that you never had. And um, my idea here is to share my life experiences with you so that you get to learn through my mistakes. You don't get to make those mistakes yourself. You know, I mean, of course, you can make certain mistakes, but there are certain things that if you can already learn from somebody else's experience, then, you know, you step over that faster and, you know, you get to where you're going to faster rather than falling over some error that you could have avoided if you had looked back on what others have, you know, failed on. Yes. So to you young girls, what I'm, I'll, I'll say today to you young girl is that you should never ever let anything stand in your way to getting what you want for yourself. Nothing at all. If something, if you plan to do something and for some reason something obstructs that plan, you always have the option of looking a plan, looking for a plan B. Okay, that's why we have this thing that is called the head. If you plan on doing something and you meet an obstacle and you wrestle with the obstacle and you can't take away that obstacle, the option is for you to look for a plan B. So never ever let anything stop in your way, not even yourself. Okay? You always think, okay, oh, I'm too young, or I can't do this thing. I was told I couldn't do this thing, or whatever, or that people are going to laugh at you, or what. No, you do whatever you propose to do for yourself. You try it out. You will fail. If you fail, you wake up and you continue. You look for something else that is, you know, that's charming. That is, um, yeah, I mean, charming to your brain, that attracts you, that, that you know, uh, 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 kicks that thing in you and say okay come on girl go go yeah you have to look for that that's what keeps us alive and strong nothing should stand in your way never ever let it stand in your way not even yourself Zas. get it okay have a good day people